All right, you're live. Good morning. Bull in the china shop over here. You got? Did you get any in the cup? <laughs> oh shoot! Uh, that was all good. That's saying we're live. Oh, cut the music off. Almost forgot that. That would have got me demonetized if I do make any. My 38 cents off this video. Pickle the sign and say good morning. Morning, Charlie. Good morning. Dude's kitchen. What's up, Mike? What's going on, buddy? So this morning we got a little something, something. Uh, but I want to say good morning and welcome everybody to the Bear Cave. Uh, I do want to apologize for last week's event session. I felt I rewatched the video and I was like, wow, dude, you were an asshole. <laughs> so I apologize. And that's fine. I, I apologize to all you. Uh, so with that out of the way, I did feel bad and everything. So want to make it public. Apologies. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and fire this up and uh, get into a Oh, uh, Frack Daddy Barbecue. Frack Daddy, my buddy Jay. What is going on, my friend? So, what we got going on? I want to do a little shout out. I put an order in with Uncle Steve's last last week. Came in. I got my hat. Finally, it's official. And this dude is awesome. He upgraded my order. So where I'd ordered several little bottles, he sent me the big ones. Oh, got Mike, it. terrific journey. What's up, Mike? Hey, Mike. I got a little bit of CJ's West Coast tryout. Uh, got some, you know, thick meat, some sauce, and he sent a couple other things. This one that I got, I'm pretty. I, I feel pretty good because it's not even on the available yet so it's not even on the market yet but he, they've been sending it out to other people Ooh, where is it? uncle steve's mm. yeah so we're going to try this out today correct i just said um this will be sure he works nights so he's off today oh brother i understand i've worked nights for way too long in my life Pickle says your beard makes you look two weeks younger. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the, what we would call Melanoma Awareness Month beard. Uh, so we got it. Cub did it last weekend. You know, so I got my shirt. Wife wife hooked me up with a shirt. Well, Y'all probably can't see it, but the A is a ribbon. So pretty awesome shirt. But, uh, oh, I got to fire this here up too. So, you know, we'll be doing, uh, on the podcast, we'll be doing more stuff all month, you know, kind of more facts and stuff like that and posts and stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, wow. Get the old apron on. So. Introductions, you guys know Rusty. And my keyboard warrior, Mama. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Hi. They all like it when you're in. Yeah. Yeah. So she was she didn't she didn't remember that she was the uh, guest host <laughs> this week. So it happens. I can't be irritated. So I don't know. I went blank. What are we doing today? Oh, so today <laughs> we are going to do because Cub wanted pork chops and applesauce. We have applesauce. We're not going to do anything to it. We could now that no. I think about it, but no, we're not. We're not going to. So, 
we were talking yesterday and we said, well, let's do pork chops. And I want to test out some of my new um, ribbon shapes. Um, little ribbon shapes. I cut them out of 10. And I'm going to lay them on. I'm going to try to season and lay them on there and try to season around them or whatever. I, I haven't quite figured that part out yet. Because every time I use them and I try to do that, I always think of what I should have done different. And then when I go back to do it again, I do the same thing that I did prior, <laughs> thinking I should have done something different. Um, so, yeah. And then Mama always likes having green beans and taters and ham. So I had to keto fry it. So we're going to take our green. Let me get some. Uh, Did you strain those green beans? Yes, ma'am. Just check them. That's one thing I don't like that Teresa does. Every time she makes green beans, she simply opens the can, dumps it in the pot. She don't ever drain them. Yeah. That's just the way she was brought up and the way that she was taught. Yep. So I'm going to put a little bacon grease in the bottom of this 12 Dutch oven. Now this Dutch oven is just a, uh, a regular lodge, 12 inch Dutch oven. Um, I found it at a thrift store for like 15 bucks. Maybe ten dollars. I don't remember, but it was a thrift store find. Cleaned it up, and it is pretty darn good. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bronzy color, but it's only got like two two rounds of seasoning on it. So, almost yes, I did strain these. I'm gonna say I'm not thrilled about the water chestnuts. Well, I didn't have any bean or. Dice taters in there. So this will be a pretty quick cook. Pickle said he takes the green beans straight out of the can sometimes with a bit of salt. That's how I eat corn and peas. But I'd rather them. I'd beans? rather them all to be. Mm -hmm. oh. But I'd rather everything to be frozen. I'm not a huge fan of pans, but for this well. can works. Yes, this this can work. But typically, I buy frozen. And then we simply. Oh no! Call the cast iron police. There's metal in his cast iron. Lot. Now, the one thing that I forgot, I was waiting because I didn't want it to thaw. I also like them fresh, but I don't like the prep work the fresh. So, just, I did say, Lee, you should get that out. Yes. <coughs> and we 40 see. minutes ago and it would have fallen. And it would have been fine. So here we have. Well, you can't see them. They are brisket juice cubes. And what kind of brisket juice cubes did I freeze on so low in carbonate? <laughs> On solo and carbonate. Okay. It does make it taste so much better. It's all about fun. I know. And I had fun. And these little ones, let me pop one out here. It's upside down. Can you see it? Yeah, it's upside down. That's all. So, yeah, we'll, we'll throw those in there. Now, Cub was like, Dad, I'm going to mess up and put one of these in my coffee. And that would be bad. Because he also freezes coffee in them. Yes. And they're both brown. And they were stacked on top of each other. She would she would not have been happy. You would have forgotten what you were doing and yes. you would have put it in your coffee. So I had and to remember you, that yeah. I had to remember that the Han Solo ones this time were were brisket juice. 
and this is from the brisket you did on R2 the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty funny, huh? R2's brisket. I'm trying to get a better view of that. Yeah. Just a little one. But anyway, so that'll that'll cook and give me some goodness. Okay, so now we have pork chops and need to do something with those. I also, for Black Ribbon Month, made up my own black seasoning. It is just Bayou Bear mixed in with some activated charcoal. Now, if you ever use activated charcoal, remember, a little bit goes a long way. I did not realize that. And I started out with like a two to one, two black um, charcoal and oh, wow. one rub. And then went on and was like, holy crap. Then I went to almost this whole bottle of rub you to know, two we, tablespoons. We can't see anything. Sorry. Almost this whole bottle of rub to two tablespoons of black. And it's still, I mean, I, I think it's thinned out enough that it'll, find still, out. that it'll still work. So we're going to test that out. In fact, we're going to test that out really soon. So let's go ahead and see, I'm starting out with the mountain range. I've been watching these guys on YouTube that do a uh, truck recovery. So they start out in the mountain range and then they do like the Jeep trails. And then they go up the mountain, and then there's a nice little rock down in here. And there's this mountain range up over here. And you got to pull some there. Okay, Bob Ross, keep it move on. Wait, wait. Sorry, Mom. Mm. There's a documentary on Netflix about Bob Ross. It's not the movie that we were talking about yeah. last week. That Owen Wilson's got that movie coming out too. I thought that was going to be a documentary, but it turns out it's not a documentary at all. He's just playing that particular part. I haven't watched TV in a few weeks for any reason. Like I've, I've been watching Netflix like in the mornings for an hour, but I don't know any movies that are coming out. I'm missing the whole movie thing. I don't know a single thing. I just happened to see this clip on Facebook is how I knew about it. So for for the people, Mama, fill them in on what you've been doing. I've been working. But they don't they don't know what kind of so you're 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 working from home now, you're yeah. up in the office upstairs. Yes. And I work eight to five. I don't and then like you're it. still seeing seeing one of your old patients. Yeah, so I work eight to five Monday to Friday. I have not worked eight to five since 2017 and I don't like it I, I I'm used to having flexibility so I am struggling with that but I did add one of my clients back in so I can still do therapy so other than that I'm typically processing emails or answering phones uh, are you wanting to go straight to so, the river or are you want to see them come on here first and then go to the griddle let's put one straight on the griddle let's do that because I get it, like so right we don't on, have we don't have cable right or anything, so I don't see any ads. Like I don't see the trailers, so I don't know any clue of what's coming out. And he doesn't like movies, so I got one. So that doesn't work either. Well, what I was thinking is oh, double whammy on both sides. Uh -oh. there it is. So because I cut this one funny out of the pan, I got a small piece I got to wash. So let's take this black rub. Oh, babe, come on, man. There. No old baking. I find those old baking, at least in my house, the three that I've got, the small ones like that are perfect. They always clamp tight. But the big tall one, I can that lid is never tight. Right. And if I turn it around to sit the shake out of the little holes in the citron, 
the big flopping always opens up. Um, flour, ye flour, eggs, and yeast. Cam is on. What's up, Cam? How you doing, buddy? Oh, there's the neighbor going to church. So if I pull this away, shake the ex excess. Oh, I guess he's not going to church. Now. Not bad. Not bad, huh? Oh, Lee would like that. Somebody said they just went to see Dungeons and Dragons. Pretty good. Better budget than the first one years ago. You were a Dungeons and Dragons kid. You know, I, okay, so so yes and no. I was I was into the role playing kind of um games like that. In the, the whole um sci fi arch mystery kind of thing. I was into that. But I could never really get into D and D. You had Dungeons and Dragons stuff when we met. I, I had. I, I've got the. You have everything. I've everything. got the board game. And but we we had kind of played it a couple times, and then we never got into it. We got into a game. I think it was called <laughs> Champions, and it was all superhero based. So you could build your superhero, and then with whatever kind of powers that he had or whatever and then you could basically do D, &D but it was superheroes okay and we got into that and really got into into playing that more so than actual dungeons and dragons yeah, my mom and my brother were really big into D, &D. we had a den in our house when i was growing up and they had a D, &D they had a D, D playing table um they all there was like four of them that were really religious every week. They ran some type of a campaign. They all took turns as being dungeon masters. They they would buy big thick books that had complete stories in it, and they would put the pages in spot. And I never got into it, but I'm sitting there watching them, and they're flipping the pages and like reading a script. Such and such does this and throws this, and they roll the dice. This is what happened. I'm like, this is like a little story, you know? What I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, I never got into that kind of stuff, but just watching them play it was, I was, I was like, how can an adult be interested in this? Thinking about my mama and her best friend Rita, but uh, they did, they loved it. Yeah, I, I didn't get into that interest in dragons, which doesn't shock anybody in this room. <laughs> I like nothing about it. I don't like sci-fi. I don't like dragons. I don't like anything. Yeah, there's no realm. mystic arts or anything like that that she's into. No, nope, there's not. And I'm the same way. I never got into any of that. I can like a lot of things, but I, there's nothing. There's nothing. So you can imagine how well this works with, you know, Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and Gladiator. And and I'm like, oh, dear gosh, not this again. Try a little bit. This is this is a uh, cooking with CJ's uh, collaboration with Uncle Steve. Ooh. Savory. A nice citrusy punch. Yeah, yeah. This is his um West Coast West Coast shake. I would almost say like almost fajita ish to me. It's like gator shake and fajita mix. Yeah. I don't know, Nolan, all she was happy about was that you got the sweet one. And, and I sent Steve a message I was, um, that she was excited about that. He was like, awesome. Yeah. That was, she's like, I really don't care about anything else. I just okay. want that one. Let's see if I can get this to work. There's Uncle Steve right there. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning Steve. Good morning, Uncle Steve. We're, we're popping this on some pork chops. Oops. And trying to make some uh, ribbons at the same time. Thank you, my friend, for uh, upgrading my order. That was... I, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I really am. Your generosity is top-notch, my friend. <clears throat> Cheers. 
That West Coast shake is pretty good. Oh. Got my hat on. So it's been a busy week here. Yes. So it has been a busy weekend. It's been a busy week at our house this week. And I think it's going to run this way until June. It might. It might. Well, um, between now and graduation, Pub has something. Yeah, every, you got she has going something on. going on with school every week. There's something. Whether like she has a parade, she has a this, she has a that, she has a this, yep. she has a that, and I'm like, oh. So and Cubs, again, I don't like that I can't go to any of it. Yeah. So Cubs, it um, she's happy. sleeping because she was in up late last night mm -hmm. with prom. Um, and Carrie's in. Huh? Carrie. Good morning. Morning, Carrie. Um, she was out late last night doing prom stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, she was like, I'm. Uh, I'm not getting up. Well, I was in bed when she got home, but I, you know, I felt bad. I said last year, I said she came home. How was prom? It was great, so much fun. This year, I said, How was prom? She was, it was so boring. I was like, Ah, but, yeah, she did have people come up and were like, Because if, if, if you see the pictures on Facebook, she looked very mermaidish or like Ariel. She, yeah, I mean, the red well, I think hair, she was the green was the purple shell, right? But otherwise, it was that, that kind of that, that teal green. It's or emerald green. Emerald green, whatever, with a red hair. Magwood barbecue. Slight difference there between teal and emerald. He doesn't know his colors. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. He knows green is green, blue is blue, that's it. Yeah. What'd you say? You said Terry's in? Yeah. Hey, Terry, how you doing? um but no so she had prom and she looked amazing um yes. she got home about 1 30 1 40 or 12 30 12 40 something like that okay and i said you know how was it and she goes boring um she had plans with a group of friends they were they went to someone's house and they sat for a while i don't understand all this but well, she got home about 10 after the prom, and then they were meeting at one location, and then they drove to, some, to someone's house, and then she said, hey, we're going to head back into town now and go to cookout. I said, okay, and then are you coming home just so I have an idea? And she said, yes. And then about 10 minutes later, she goes, change my mind. I'm coming home. I've had, I've been too people eat. I just want to come home. I said, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. she also had like, so some of the friends that she was hanging out with after prom, were friends earlier in the year and then they've had a they just teenage didn't go misunderstanding this, yeah, they just didn't all go the same direction so, and that's okay yeah that happens at that age it happens happens at every age really <laughs> yeah tamara was really excited she was telling telling us at home before she came down she said i get to go play like i'm a big sister today yeah they sat in there and they helped like with convincing her, oh, hey, let's do this or let's do this. We did say like, you know, Tamara's seen her forever. My friend Erin has seen her forever. And she came out and her makeup was very subdued. And I went, Ooh. are you done? And she said, yeah. And we all were like, this is the most subdued we've ever seen her since she started liking makeup and aesthetics like that um so we we had to kind of bump that up a little bit add a little Did this add a little of that we've yeah. never had to do that before so but normally we're like take it off but that looks pretty decent but she also had senior pictures this week yep yeah. so it's not really Oh, she looks amazing for her senior pictures. So we're getting there. She's winding down. Yeah. I think she only goes to school until. Hey, Uncle Mike, she is a sharp and you're long lady. You're right. She is. She's sassy. Um, but I think she's out like the 17th. Yeah. Something wow. like that, because graduation is the 25th. And they get out the week ahead. So. And you graduate too, my dear. I do. 
I do. I think I'm officially done. Yeah, so that's so for those who don't know, mama's been going to school during my whole cancer issue issue journey. I don't, I don't want to call it an issue because it's not an issue. It, it's been a journey. Thanks, Carrie. Carrie said that she's awesome, raised her well. We tried. It's a thing you, you can give, you can pour in. They have to accept it. Come on. You know what? I didn't. It's she wasn't crazy. always easy. She wasn't always accepting, but she's she's getting there. Yay! Cool. What do you guys think of that? Looks good, dear. Uh, so what else is going on, y'all? So let's see. What did we do Friday? I feel like we did. Our our week was pretty boring. Cup had seen the pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, in the rain. That's the champion this girl is. Yeah. It was raining. She was doing it. She she was changing in the car. She was walking here. She's not that girl that was like, "Don't let my hair get wet." She was like, "I don't care. Let's go. Let's do it." So. I'm anxious to see the rest of them. Get close. Yeah. Um, so we had senior pictures. We so I, I touched on this last week, and as part of part of my um, emotional overload, um, somebody very close to us um, had a recent diagnosis of a of a tumor that they got removed and the biopsy came back and the biopsy proved to be cancerous. So, but it was only in the tumor. And this tumor is a five centimeter tumor. Well, not now. Not well, now. It, now it, was. Now. It, it was. It was. So it was five centimeters. How big is that? I don't know. I don't know centimeters and metrics, but I know the one under my arm was six at its smallest. And that was the size of a baseball. Well, under your arm, though, here's the thing. You had under tissue, you had under swelling. So if you take, it looks like this, and you have a little pee under there, it has to kind of get bigger. Right. So what we were what we were feeling was skin Everything else. and tissue and fluid and right. just your body. It wasn't the tumor. Right. So how big five centimeters is, I don't know. But... To me, that's pretty big. Two and a half is an inch. Okay, so. Two and a half centimeters, I think, is about an inch. So. Two inches. Yeah. Big, around. Probably, yeah. I was going to say it's two inches around. So it's so, not two inches wide. You got a tape? Uh, so it's only about this big. Well. It's about the size of a grape. Okay. I mean, give or take a small grape, like. That would probably be about five centimeters. Oh, centimeters. Okay. So right here. Centimeters. So five centimeters. Yeah. So if you make that a circle. That that big around. It's about, That's not a great. Honey, it's. A, <laughs> that, right. that is a diameter. That is not a circumference. What you're, what you're doing is a diameter. So go around a circular shape, five centimeters. So that's two and a half. So it's it's probably about this big, anyway, the size of a grape. So we had we had that come up, and emotional overload, stress, you know that whole unknown thing. We got the results back, and the results were the tumor itself was cancerous, mm -hmm. but it had not spread into the sidewalls of the bladder. So basically, like if you pull a weed and the, you get some of the roots, we don't get them all. What was so when they scraped it out and they pulled the weed, then they were going back in to make sure they got all the weeds out. And currently, the sidewalls are not cancerous, right? It did not spread anywhere other than the tumor. So that was the good news. Sigh of relief. Um, 
So the plan going forward for this individual is going to be a second scraping to make sure they got it all. And then they're going to start uh, an immunotherapy uh, shortly after uh, where they inject straight into the bladder. And then he has to like roll around, basically like the Pepto-Bismol commercial where it has to coat everything and roll around to make sure he gets all that coated and everything's good there. And he'll do that like every six months, three or six months, something like that. So, so for three years, so huge, huge, huge blessing in the, in that. So yeah, when we were going to the competition yesterday and he was explaining this to me, I said, so they're going to stick him on a machine and rotate him like the Pepto Bismol commercial. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't see this person doing somersaults. So no, but that was. I think that that's going to be the best way. I'm not sure. That was that was what he was told was <laughs> going to be his course of treatment. Was the he had to lay on one side, you know, and, and rotate to the other side, like 15 minutes front, back, side, side, and then he has to basically pee before he can leave. Like after his infusion, so. But so that happened. Um, so there was a huge blessing right there that we got. Um, then we went to. Did you see I put up the magnet? No, I didn't see it again. Yeah. So my chef's temp hangs up there, just just great. Boom, done. That other one's probably ready to flip. All right. So I have the coolie rack. That turned out pretty darn good. Pat myself on the back. Ooh-wee. Look at that. What's the other side look like? Yeah, the other side. All the liquid underneath there probably just. Yeah, the other around. side jacked up on me. Mm -hmm. But it's all right because we'll do it this. Got way. a good photo bomb side. Yep. Tom's food factory's in. What's up, Tom? Right on time, my friend. Yep. Well, so you can kind of see that one. Mm -hmm. So Nolan also decided college, what she's doing. Well, <coughs> been accepted to a college. Um, she thinks that's where she's going to go. So we had to add all that to her fast, but we had to do all this stuff. But she told me, I don't know which day it was. She said, I, I'm going to stay home for a couple of years and just go to school online. And I said, okay. Like, I think that's her best option. She needs a little more support. So, um, so she did that. So she's had a busy week. Yeah. Three big decisions or three big events. And oh, Friday, our oldest one came in. Yeah, she did. She kind of surprised us a little bit and came home for just a quick visit. I'm going to spend a little time with her. Yep, yep. She needed a little pop time. A little time with the old man, so. Right. I'm drop another one down. Let's, let me get the, let me get this Cajun ready. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to do a little R and D for my man. Let's see if I can. I think somebody's right. You need a brand. Huh? You need a branding iron. Yeah. I, I was looking and unfortunately, so I was on Instagram and I put up a picture of my. Ah, Tom said you need to do more indoor charcoal cooking. He misses those. Okay. I was going to, I thought about getting out the sportsman's grill this morning. Mm -hmm. the new and it, it, it didn't come together. I can see the red pepper flakes in this dude. 
Okay. Um, Y'all be on the lookout. We're, we're, we're in the test phases. He said this is his third revision of this. And so he wants he wants his, an honest opinion okay. of what we think. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Grab paper towel. Um, yeah, we need danger bear. No, no one needs danger bear. Okay, danger bear can cook in your garages, <laughs> danger bear can not cook in mine. We did okay. Cut this heat off. Whoop! Too far. Cut that heat off. That'll that'll sit and relax. Yeah. It didn't cut off. No, it didn't. It didn't. It there it goes. Um. So then, so Friday night, cut the oldest one came in. Um, she needed a little bit, a little pop time. We went and got our oil change. We went to uh, take five auto. Okay. Uh, got our oil change. That's a pretty neat, slick little deal. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, it's 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 expensive. That's for sure. Um, we kind of hung out and then we went out to dinner. Of course, nobody wanted to make a decision where we were going. That was like a hour and a half. Well, it was like a six hour thing to figure out where we were going. Um, but anyway, we went to Hickory Tavern, a place here in town. It was okay. It's not my Daddy favorite. Daddy Dutch Barbecue? I haven't been there since September senior year because they had their... Uh, oh, Hickory Tavern? Yeah, Hickory Tavern. What's it called when you're in the act of thespian? They had their big thespian banquet and stuff there. That's the last time I went. And she's been college. She's been graduated college. Yeah. Right. Um, it was Carrie okay. Carrie asked you know, if we've tried the Cajun yet. No, we haven't. <laughs> No, um, I we just, will try it. I just opened it. I will try it. I will not try it because I don't eat pork chops on the bun. I'll have to make something different. I can cut the bun off. It's okay. Yep, this one's done. So I think <clears throat> there's a ribbon. The other side didn't really stay. So I think our best bet. Is going to be only seasoning it on one side, only riveting, only <coughs> ribbon on one side, only ribbon on the, the top side. <clears throat> we'll throw another one down and see if we can get down here. Okay, okay. Make no one want the dessert shape. Oh, geez. Mm hmm. That's her favorite. That is her favorite. Let's see if we can. I don't know if that one's going to fit. What, should, what are we putting on the? We put cage on that one, right? Yep. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go right back to the black because I'm going to use this one. Because I'm thinking. If I find a, like another really good, uh, like maybe this Cajun or like the South Texas red, or the um, anyway one of one of Steve's, and then add the charcoal to it to make it a black rub, that'd be pretty sweet. I'm just gonna set this right on top of that. Carrie said the dessert shake is everyone's favorite. Yes. I do like that. And I was looking for it. And she was like going through the covers. And I said, Cub, what are you doing? She's like, dessert shake, hello. And I was like, we're out. And you didn't tell me that you wanted it when I was putting it in my order. So I have to order it when put it in the next order, which I was looking at doing. And then it came in and my brother Steve hooked me up, hooked me up. Daddy Dutch said, wait till you try the Texas Cajun. That's what they're doing today. That's what they have. Right there, my friend. And I've got it on that chop right there. 
We got some of the West Coast. I had to order this because of CJ, man. I had to support my brother. <clears throat> so pretty, pretty cool. I'm excited to try that. You know, I got my thick meat in because I like the thick meat. Don't. These are the lessons that are coming out. Don't think that. Yeah. So, anything coming up this week? Uh, no, we did a barbecue competition. We judged one yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, we went to Clover, South Carolina. Um, small event. They had some vendors out there. They did it at um, one of their newly, like within the last few years, renovated park. Small event. There was only like, what, nine? Nine teams. Nine teams. So we had one table of judges. And there was only, there was three backyard teams. Um, so out of the, and I, and I said it, somebody asked me, well, what's, what's the difference in SCBA? What's the difference between backyard and, and pro? The only real difference is your experience. Mm -hmm. That's it. So by backyard, I'm saying that their box building was, you know, you could tell that they didn't have experience box building. You could tell that. You know, they they had some really good barbecue, but it, the presentation was just lacking. It was great stuff. Um, five of the teams turned in ribs, and they were all smashing. I, I came home and smashed the rest of my ribs because it did. It did you can tick clear off your mat. And put it in a Ziploc bag and bring it home. And I did that with the with the ribs. And uh, in fact, the pork. Uh, one of my friends came over last night while his wife was helping, or his fiance was helping the cup get ready. And he's like, "I'm starving." And I was like, "Here, here's pork. Just got it today." So I gave him the, the take home bag, right. and he loved it. Loved it. So. I'm going to leave that on there because this is all playing around, right? Yep. We're just playing. I'm going to leave that ribbon on there. I really want this to work. Because, like, you know, I did it on that brisket video, and I posted it on Instagram. And there's a fellow that I that I became friends with on Instagram who's going through the same treatment. And that's how we became friends. And we, um, that's the Cajun. And so we uh, start talking and he was asking about, you know, hey, how'd you do the, rib like how the ribbon turn out? And I, you know, I posted a picture and he had mentioned the branding iron. So I got on, I got on looking because I've seen like Lodge cast iron has the branding irons for the whole alphabet and they have like the plus sign and some other stuff. Right. They don't have a ribbon. So I got to find somebody that can make me a ribbon branding iron. Okay. And I did take a stainless steel straw and make this. Was that a stainless steel straw in our drawer? That goes to my cup that my client bought me. Would that be that stainless steel straw? Your silence says it all. Thank you. <laughs> it was in the drawer. Uh huh. Thank you. Okay, continue. It's cool. It's cool. So anyway, I wear stainless steel straw now. Thank you, everybody. But anyway, so I, I made this, and I thought we could try it out, but I don't know that it was going to work. So I will use straw. Oh well, it happened. Hey, I'm honest. I screwed up. Yeah. Okay, so that looks that looks promising. 
That looks promising. Now she's mad. No, it's just one of those moments. I thought it was the kids. I'm sure. Even that, even that. Like, if it was your stainless steel straw, you'd be mad. Probably. You would be, and you know you would be, but that's okay. Well, it, it is my stainless steel straw now. Uh-huh. I'm showing you grace right now. This is me showing you grace. We did black on this one, didn't we? Yeah. So I'm going to try this this one again. Tom's Food Factory said he found a guy on Etsy that will make a custom branding iron for twelve eighty eight. Wow. Can you send Lee that information, please? Thank you, sir. Yes. That would be wonderful if you could... Uh, Etsy, huh? Uh, well, we did the competition yesterday. That was that was pretty good. I was the official horn blower yesterday. This is a small event, so whenever they had to sign up for the judges, whenever Lee and I were waiting for the timer to count down and hit the button to sign up, he got accepted. I was just a must have been a second too late because all the spots were filled and I got put on the waiting list. So I just rode with them anyway. When I got there, I said, look, I'm here. Do you need anything? And they found a job for me to do. So I was the official horn blower. Nice. Um, at 10 o'clock a.m. I'd say not to toot your own horn, <laughs> but uh, it at, wasn't your horn. At 10 a.m., we have the pulled pork turn in. And then at 11 a.m. is the ribs turn in. So 10 minutes till you blow one horn or one long tone. And then on the hour, you blow two short tones. And then five minutes after, one long tone. And that's the... That's the cutoff. That means you're, if you haven't come in then, you're too late. So I got to sit there with the big air horn and, and, and make noises. Nice. And still got credit for the event. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. with that now, I am two events, judging two events, and cook with the team away from moving up to. Thank you, sir. To senior judge. What? He sent the information about the branding iron. Oh, sweet. Sweet. I'm not going to put that on there because it's going to pull it off. Right. I'm going to leave that alone. This is such an art book. See? That's what I didn't want to happen. I'm thinking if anything is going on this week at our house. I think we might have a quiet week this week. We're pretty over. So, um, I got to do a cook yet for my Raven, Raven Warrior here. Uh oh, let's, let's see what happens. Let's pull this off. It's there. It's like half of it's there. Part of it's there. Yeah, the juices. Okay. <laughs> this is all the fun Excuse you're going to have playing with different ideas with ribbons and, and yes, and tasting the failures. <laughs> That's the thing. Is it's it's all tasty. Drop a little more. Uh... Not failures, tasting the the ones that didn't work together. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not going to call them failures. They're, I mean, it's, you got to test, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, drop that last one on there. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know all the words, and I don't even know who it was. There is a sports athlete. I don't know if any, if anybody knows, and he, they were quiz like testing him and questioning him on like a, a interview after a game and it must have been a big game i didn't i don't follow this season of sports and anything um but they the interviewer the the press guy said so do you see this as a failure and he he was so eloquent and he was I so and he was like no it's not a failure he's like you know, we did our best. We did this. We can't win everything. Is that always a failure? Like, if you don't get a job promotion, are you a failure? If you don't get this, are you a failure? And I thought, oh, my goodness. 
what a bright like wave of freshness in, in the way you think about it. Yeah, like, I saw that interview on I saw it on Facebook that yeah that was really really good he was like you got to just work harder it, it's we worked hard we just didn't make it i can't always win yep. i well, can't always and you were talking the about thing you know we just had the draft right yeah and the draft went on we did and yeah <laughs> and you know we had different you had that one kid that was like well if i'm not you were telling the story that yeah. if i'm if i'm and, not going to go context is important you know so the, the con the only context i have of this kid is a clip on like TikTok, and they kind of said are you going to go are you going to go sit at the draft and he said well if they think i'm going to go early yes but if not then i'm not going to sit there and i'm not going to go well he he didn't get chosen in the first round like they thought he didn't get chosen in the manner. So the next round of draft, he was sitting at his home. And he did get drafted. But then they had another another kiddo, another athlete, who they didn't think was going to go. Um, and he went to the draft knowing I'm not expected to go here. And they don't think I'm going to go into this round. And that kid showed up and he sat through all the rounds he didn't make and he was there and they finally called his name and i'm like wow what a testament for him because you have one like and i don't know this kid and i know these kids are young these kids are 20 21 22 23 in that you know right in that age they don't have that maturity the one's like well if i'm not going to go first i don't want to go and this one's like i'm not going to go first but i need to go and i'm like what two beautiful ways to look at it i mean they both went they both they both made it through the draft but just two different two different ideas two different points of view two different yeah. points of view yeah. was this kid always build up to say he was the best maybe was this kid like work really hard and you're gonna get your reward maybe but again i only know a 30 second a, a one right. minute yep. picture of these kids lives I don't know Carolina either one of them. The, uh, first round, the first pick, and they yep. got the quarterback from Alabama. So behind the garage barbecue. What's up, Greg? This dude's killing it, man. He's posting pictures and little shorts, and <coughs> he's doing his catering and selling pickles and uh, the the shoot the jerky. Now I don't know why that that I get hung up on work. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know that. I get hung up on words, and it's like I, there was somebody I was trying to talk to yesterday, and I was like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I was just lost. But we did see some good, some old friends and, you know, people we ain't seen in a while. And, uh, so that was great. But, yeah, the draft, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of – their picks, some of them I don't agree with, but – that's why you're not running football empires. <laughs> yeah. I, I am not Bear McGuire. <laughs> you are not running a football yeah. empire. So I am not, they I didn't mean, have to check with you. Yeah, one of my friends sent me a message at like 805 and said, who are y'all going to pick first round? Who are you going to get? And I'm like, I'm in bed. I roll over. I answer my phone. And I said, what do you mean who am I going to get? Because he didn't say first round that time. He said, in the first round, who are y'all going to pull? I said, I don't know. I said, I'm in bed. I'm not watching bye, this. <laughs> but, uh, do what? Carrie said bye. Bye, Carrie. Have a great bye -bye. day. But, I mean, I was in bed at 8 o'clock the night of the draft. I didn't even know what was going on. Well, the last couple of years, I kind of tried to follow it, but not really heavily, you know? I follow it for very so, different reasons than y'all follow it. Like, I like, you guys follow it to see what teams get in the player no there's certain players i want to see where they but go you want to, but you want to see that yeah i want to see the the family support i want to see that who's the person they hug when they get that call is it their mama or is the it girlfriend. their girlfriend um i i want to see like the interactions between there's been somewhere two players are sitting together for their calls like yep. that teammate 
because I they were, the relationship. They were, because they're really good friends. Yeah, or I got to call my grandma. My grandma told me this is what would happen for me. I like the interpersonal parts of it rather than who's I getting what. I want to see the shortened down version. Like, they're not I don't, I'm going to see there. the call and the announcement, or like the announcement and the call at the same time, and then like the small celebration. But I don't need the clock to run for the next one where it's like you've got seven minutes on the clock. Right. That, just, that to me, that part just, they already know by that point. You know, so I think all that behind the scenes stuff, all that. Uh, it's TV fluff time. Yeah. All that can be cut out. So, and that would be fine for me. Well, and, you know, half these players, they're going to go to this team and they're going to be traded within the first few years. So I don't really care where they go. I just well, want to see that excitement of. Unfortunately, there's a I've lot of teams it. that just run them in the ground. Yeah. And then they ship them off and they're not. So. But that's, but, I guess that's the difference between a mama's heart. You know, you, you want to see them yeah. be proud of their accomplishment. because And, I mean, C.J. Stroud went to the Texans. You know, I think it's a good fit because it's great for the Texans. Right. I would have, as a Ohio State fan, I want to see Stroud somewhere else. But then I look back at the the quarterbacks we've had go out in the first round and be successful in the NFL, and by successful, I mean starting position within the first two years. There's not many. Very few. So Fields is probably the best one that has done it. Yeah, he's at the Bears, right? Yep. Yep. He's probably <coughs> the, the best one that's done it. A couple of the others, like Terrell Pryor, he got traded to two different teams, and he just couldn't get over that hump of – College to pro. He had everything, but that they were looking for. Well, but there's you know, a different ball game between college and pro as it, far as quarterback. It's not just that. It is the. It's what you see in a lot of kids and why they're successful in their endeavors and why they're not successful, or they're a little they're a little staggered in their success. Big fish, little pond, little pond, or what is it? Big fish, little pond, little fish, big pond. So in, in college, they are fabulous, yep. and they are the second coming. They are the team. And then you get this 22, 23-year-old kid going somewhere where the team is older, the team has been working together, and they're not the big star yeah. anymore. And so getting out of their own way is sometimes more difficult than overcoming the athletic comp of yep. college to pro. Like one the kid that went to school with Tommy and Hammer, BT Potter. He graduated, he went to Clemson, kickers for Clemson. Mm -hmm. Somebody sent me a message this morning that BT got uh what non drafted free agents and he got picked yesterday or something. I haven't been able to look it up yet, but I need to look that up. But right. Like B T, I mean he's a great kid and and, and I Again, I haven't looked into it. I haven't heard him complaining or saying, you know, anything negative about what the experience of what happened. But I'm really excited to take a look at that and see if, you know, what's going on with that. So, it's really neat. When I you think see, this one's working better. When you see kids that you know, like I know BT because he was with my son whenever they were in school. I mean, I've seen him play. I was there in the stands. Right. And to see them go into their college career and then – you know, get picked into the pros. It's it's really exciting. Well, and then when I, I was in college, when I was in high school, going to school with people who went to college and became pros, like Gerald Dixon, he was you no know, in my class. He, we graduated together. Right. And I don't know why, but Coach Barnes, whenever we were wrestling, put me with Gerald Dixon, <laughs> big old huge guy. He just threw me around like a sausage. Well, that's why he you were his practice step. <laughs> well, I'm the reason he made it to pro. There you go. Can't even think the guy's name right now. He's right there. The picture. Um, oh, I can't remember. From anyway, he was a senior when when our oldest was a freshman. Clowney? Huh? Did they on Clowney? Clowney, yeah. I don't know why uh, brain surgery. I can't even see the picture. I have to know who it was. That's where he he blasted yeah, the glare uh, from the light. I can't see yeah. it. 
that's where he blasted uh, Smith, the quarterback from uh, Teton, and sent his helmet flying into orbit. <laughs> yes. He ta- that was like uh, that was amazing. He hit him so hard, his head went back and his helmet went flying like 15 yards behind him. Oh wow! And, and landed and, and rolled. And you kind of liked it because my brother-in-law is a Teton fan. So yes, you also had that. So it was a double extra. whammy. Yeah. And then we were up at my dad's place, and he keeps all his Sports Illustrated magazine. And I found it, and I cut it out, and I've got it mounted on the wall up here. So T-10, you know, said, was the North team or something like that? The team north? The team up north. Up north, okay. Yeah. I see the Michigan hat. Yeah, we don't, we don't see Michigan. But it's trying to remember that acronym y'all use. T-10. Yep. T-ten. It's not just us. It is... That that is what you get. That that oh, is. Oh, I thought y'all made that up. No, that's what all the of, team is called. No, that is what Buckeyes call them. Oh, okay. Um, if you're an Ohio State fan, that's what you call. Them. You oh, call okay. them. It is tea time. Yes, I thought it was something y'all did because no. you didn't want to say that word. That started no. with Woody Hayes. It's been years and years and okay. years of being tea time. Yeah. Decades. So there was a. There was three Ohio State players that went. Smith and Njigma went in the first I round. I like Smith and Njigma. It's hard to say his name, but otherwise he's a great, <laughs> great uh, wide receiver. Um, Stroud, him. Stroud, and I don't. I again, I didn't oh, watch. I was busy Jackson. all week doing things. Was it Jackson? I don't know. I can see this picture, but I can't. I can't think of his name. But yeah, so they went, and that was all right. I mean, it's good for them. They went and set this over here because we're not using that one. We didn't use that one. We should be. Let's check the chef's tent. Hashtag not sponsored. We're good. So the chef's tent, you know, they had reached out a while back about doing a review video. And I did the review video. And they did the whole, you know, if you want to be a partner program. I set it up. But I never did anything with it because... I don't think I've set it up right. What do you think of that one? That's a, ooh, that might be our thumbnail. Oh, I forgot I left that on. Well, it didn't work. Oh, hot. I mean, it kind of worked. It's a little bleed over, but not yeah, much. But that's that. That could be our thumbnail right there. These two are probably the best ones. This one and this one. Well, nobody can see them. So. Huh? Nobody can see them. Oh, sorry. So that's so this side here. I think that's probably the best one. Maybe there. No, you had it good, like. This side. No. Turned not so good. But that one turned out really good. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's all planned. You gotta what, what's Tom say? You gotta play with your food. But some iron cleanup. Um so has anybody been watching the XFL? I know you have because I have. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they still had that going on. Well, they revamped it. So Heinz Ward from the Steelers right. is a coach. San Diego, I think, or Texas, or something like that. Texas, something. The Houston, Houston, something, Brahma Bulls, or something like that. But anyway, I've been watching that, so it, it might be on today. I don't know. I'm just curious if anybody's watching it. Um, I'm trying to watch soccer, but it's not. We don't have any of the sports channels to watch it on. I just watch whatever you put on. And yeah. if I watch, it means I sit on the couch. And, and play on my, I don't know. I play on my phone because I don't want to watch anything you watch. No, I got into this, uh, into the, the guys that do the, re, the, the Mohab where they go up in the desert mountains and they're people getting stuck in the recovery. Jeeps and, and doing the recovery stuff. I got it watching that and then I got watching these guys that are doing uh, this guy and his girl, his girl or a friend who's a girl. I don't know what they are, but they go up and they, get old junk cars that haven't ran for like 15, 20 years 
and they do a revival and get it running. They buy it, not running. They spend the, the, a couple of days there to get it running and get it to back to their shop to get it cleaned up and sell it. So like they were doing an old Grand National the other night, was what I was watching last night. He was going through a Grand National that hasn't been ran in 15 years. And to say it had three inches of dust, yeah, it was yeah. nasty. All shows I'm not going to watch. All shows that don't, I don't need in my brain space. Yeah. So it's, I just sit in the same room. It's, what did Jack call it? Mindless. Mindless watching? Yeah. Mindless entertainment? Kind of like having Mountain Men on. You just have it on Again, Apple. another show that I don't I watch. I can't. I can't handle Mountain Men. I just can't handle They always have one character that has a really long black beard. Um, Wait. What's his name? No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think the guy's name was one guy. He's just got a certain dialect that he speaks with that just makes my skin crawl. I mean, there's nothing bad against him. I mean, with the black beard? Gosh. I can't think of the name now. But I used to watch it every, every once in a while. And then I got to the point that if I saw it was on, I had to change the channel. I couldn't watch oh, it. Oh, I like that one. I don't know which guy you're talking about. Eustace was a North Carolina guy. Like, I would just like to watch a show that has a point. A show. I don't need it to be super, like, in-depth thinking. I don't need it to be life-changing. I would just like to watch a show that has a point. It has a story. It has... Orders. Something. That is one of the only things we agree on. And the yes. only reason I like it is it makes my house always look amazing. <laughs> So, that's why I, I think I don't like role-playing type video games when I was little. Oh, that one felt good. I wanted the game to have a start, a middle, and an ending. I either win or I lose. I want it done in 15, 20 minutes. I don't want to spend weeks trying to beat a game. Yeah. Like yeah. first-person shooters. I'm either going to shoot you or you're going to shoot me. Game's over. I'm if I'm happy. playing first person shooter, I guarantee I'm the first one to die because I do not pay attention and I can't see the other people. I don't know who's my friend. I don't know who's on my team. Right. I don't know who I'm supposed to shoot at. I don't understand them. I don't play them. Now you give me Scrabble or Trivial Pursuit online. I am fabulous. Yeah, we will play. We got, um, what is it? Uh, I know you got to go down. I don't know. Trying to get to the cutting board there. Oh, okay. Or not the cutting board, but the over here so I can play her up. Um, Scrabble. We play Scrabble on the Xbox. We do play Scrabble on the Xbox. <laughs> He's beat me once in a number of years. A couple times. I'm pretty good with Scrabble. A couple times. Trivial Pursuit is my jam, though. Yeah, you will I'm rarely not... beat me. However, Nolan, no, you're like, I don't know this information. And she's like, the answer is now, if you ask her, what do y'all think? think normal thing, she can't do it. Yeah, that's probably that's the best one. Until I picked it up and the juices all moved. Make a mask. I know. I know. Try to strain some of the juice out of the bottom of the handle. This is the part Charlie really likes. When I get all when you get chefy. When you get chefy. Got to get all cleaned up. Charlie likes this part. Don't you charge I just need this to carry over into there. You know what I should do? What are you going to do? Oh, nope, that's right. What do y'all think? It's a good ribbon. Look, look good? Yeah. It's a good weather. I like 
Well, let me see. Actually, I don't want this one. Because we got a little bit of time. Well, it depends on how long you're rolling. So what's the second best one? That one? That one for darkness. This one for the actual image. For the plate. I think with this one, they're not going to be able to tell that that's a ribbon. I mean, they'll know because they watch you do it. Yeah. Well, that I have, one, you I, can definitely tell. Okay. Pork chops and green beans at 10.30 a.m. Yes. Um, okay, so Lee work nights, gosh, pretty much our entire relationship. So I'm going to say a good 20 years. He worked nights and strictly work all, nights. Off and on nights. So, well, you pretty much work nights through the whole thing. It was Major, a majority. It was years. a rare time if you were on days. Majority of the time. All Those of my the 12 children, years that we've been friends, I've seen him on nights. Yeah. All of our there. kids, but one. Now try to fit oh. beans in there. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna break as soon as you put them in there. Just appease me. Yeah, I mean it's fine, but there's no there's no form. That's all I'm saying. Is this gonna break? Yeah. But we have learned to eat any food at any time of the day. It doesn't really matter. The oldest one's the standout. The you oldest know, one doesn't eat as much she dinner was, food for breakfast. But she doesn't eat breakfast, so we were talking to somebody and they were like, Well, you can't have this because it's breakfast food. And we're talking about breakfast for dinner. But you can't have dinner food for breakfast. Like you can't have spaghetti for breakfast. And I'm like, um Yeah, you can. You can. And they're like, No, no, we, we, we can't do that. We can't do that. And I was like, Really? My sister won't eat dinner food for breakfast. But yeah. she eats breakfast food for dinner. That's all right, here's pork. Like the two youngest girls eat anything for any time of the day. If that if that's what they want, that's what they're gonna eat. Maybe you can mash it a little bit of pork. Breakfast for dinner is the best, and dinner for breakfast is just as good. I agree. You know the thing that, that Lee is not good with? Like, okay, we don't buy cereal. We haven't bought cereal in a number of years. It, cereal it's keto cereal, and he's going to sit and eat it in a cup, <laughs> and he's going to snack on it all night. Probably. Um, but as far as buying cereal, we haven't done for years. Um, but I am completely fine with having cereal for dinner. He is like, this is disgusting. That is his one hold off. He can't do cereal for dinner. I'm like, I've had cereal for dinner parties where I'm like, hey, you want to come over for dinner? Bring your favorite cereal. And they're like, cool, I'll bring my cereal. So there were some times that he, I don't know why, if we had, um, I'm shocked it did work. Congratulations. See, I can, I can say when I'm wrong. Good job. Um, yes. But a little overexcited. Hell yeah. There have been times when he had, was busy and had to be out of town or do something. And the kids loved it because they're like, does this mean we can have cereal for dinner? I'm like, yes, it does. And that was their big thing. Like if dad's out of town, like in Ohio for, you know, doing something with the family and we didn't go or whatever, they got to go pick out their own cereal. Can, can you see the excitement? I can. Me, I can't. There's some type of a restaurant or bar or something that is a cereal bar. You can go in, it's mm -hmm. like $8 for a bowl of cereal or something, but they got like hundreds of cereals you could choose from. Well, there's Dan and I cereal bar up on uh, Celine's. It's an ice cream cereal place. Oh, but we have is, one here in Rock Hill. Well, I don't know. I don't know if they, it's a bowl of ice cream or if it's ice cream, if it's a cereal with milk. I don't know, but there is a cereal. Okay. I have heard of cereal bars. I've heard of that. Uh, Golly, one of the food cooking shows on on TV, I can't remember the name of it, but they went in with a bowl and all these hundreds of bowls of cereal around and you just uh -huh. go, sheesh, sheesh, and they get to the milk and it looks pretty good. Yeah. 
Tired, be happy. I like cereal. That was awesome. It kind of looks like a fish. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, it just kind of looks like a fish. Just because there's no hole in there, that's all. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, Mr. Rosie, <coughs> is I believe we're going we're to taste it. So now that we're, here's your fork. I think this is the, maybe the Cajun or the West Coast. I'm not sure which. We'll find out. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. That's the West Coast. Okay. That's got that pop of citric. I mean, it's a donkey punch in the, in the <laughs> taste buds. That's going to be phenomenal on wings. Oh my goodness. You said like you had your false amount to make, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Phenomenal. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like South Texas Red and Gator Shake. Slam together. I get a lot of the citrus I can get with the gator shake. Yeah. And it's really powerful. And this would be the Cajun. You want to try a piece, Mama? No, I'm good. Thank you. Pick your poison. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pick out the notes. Like, there's just enough salt. I'm getting the heat coming in the back end. I really like this one. I like this one better than I do the West Coast. This is really, really good. Yep, I'm getting a lot more heat now. Don't get me wrong, the West Coast is good, but yeah, I think this is better. This well, you're not big on the citrus notes right. and, the, and the gator shape anyway, but this one's got more heat than I think the South Texas Red, but the flavors are really good. Really good. I think salt content's just right. Like, I wouldn't want to add any more. I'm getting a lot of heat now, like, coming in. I mean, I, I taste it and feel it too, but that's what I like. It's not know. it's not overpowering. It's not all. it's not a turn off at all. But it's like if I'm if I'm looking to make something for mom, I know that she doesn't want all that heat, so I'm going to back off of how much is that. I take more heat than you do, but I don't typically. I and this is going to go over like a fart in church. I don't give two real cares about seasoning. She doesn't. She is straight black pepper and that's it. Maybe a little salt. Yeah. Like seasoning does it it doesn't do a thing for me. Now the oldest one was like, I need some more bayou bear. Can you uh snap snap hook me up? I was like, here's the card, here's all the ingredients. But Yeah, like the only seasoning I truly like is hardcore carnivore on hamburgers and cube steaks and stuff like that. The rest, I don't cook with them. I have the hardcore carnivore red in the house. I like the black. I don't so I'm, like not, I'm not very keen on the red. I mean, I've used it a few times. So the red, that one was designed to use as a base for your color. That was why that one was designed. It's not the only rub you use. That is designed as a base rub. So where you would That's put good. where you would put that on get your smoke and then when you go to wrap it or later on then you would add in something else yeah. like this cajun and that would give it a ton of ton of flavor yeah i'm just a nice old salt and pepper yep yep i can that cajun would be absolutely <coughs> killer 
doing like faux fried pickles or fish, any kind of like chicken nugget, that would give it a nice, nice like, ooh. See, and this is where you and I differ. I'm like, not everything needs a seasoning. Please don't season it because I don't <laughs> like it. I, I think it needs a little something, something, but. You yeah. always think it needs something, something. Yep. And I'm like, nope, it's good. Don't mess with it. All right, well, we're going to get out of here. I think we've done enough damage. Had some successes. Time to eat. Rock on. That's the other, the other uh, I should get the, the ribbon, and then I should get a rock on. That might be really tricky. I don't know. I don't know how it can work. But Yeah, what do you all think of that? You know what? We'll, we'll discuss this. Um, it couldn't we'll, be like this. It had to be like this. Well, that guy on Pinterest can make you those custom um, brands. Etsy, yeah. yeah. We all Etsy, Etsy. Etsy. I don't know how you could do it. I reckon you could probably get a... It's probably going to have to be an outline. Yeah. Just an outline. Yeah, probably like, like, a, like a stamp. Like, probably. like a stamp. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah. All right, so I really like that. The, the heat's dissipating now. Mm-hmm. Like it's not, it doesn't stay long. It's not overpowering like a huge amount of cayenne. It comes in kind of in the back end like a like a jalapeno powder does, and it just kind of ain't lingers and, and tapers off. Slightly goes away. Yeah, I think the salt content was great in it. Uh, I'm looking forward to using it. Yeah, yeah. The ribbon thing, I, I'm 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 forming plans. And I want to thank a couple of people who mentioned in the comments about the brisket and trying different things. So we're working on it. The branding iron, I'm going to check into that. And, uh, well, let's get out of here. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Well, that's all we got this week. Y'all have a great week. And uh, remember, there's two rules in cooking. Did you have fun? Did it taste good? Rock on. Y'all are awesome. Have a great week, guys. Have a great week.